Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about some of my absolute favorite, most useful and handy items to find secondhand or for repurposing. These are things that you may already have around your house. They are things that can be easily found at yard sales, thrift stores, or secondhand online stores like eBay, Poshmark, Etsy, those types of things. I love repurposing old items or finding new uses for new items and their packaging with the intention of sort of trying to contribute to a more sustainable lifestyle, a more circular economy, sort of trying to step away a little bit from the consumerism and the convenience mindset where things are sort of disposable, plastic, uh, things that are going to be used once and then thrown away, and shifting more towards a lifestyle where we use old things because they work and there's nothing wrong with them and we are trying to maintain a lifestyle that will be self-sustaining throughout the years. It's not something where we use products and they go away um, or go to a landfill or get recycled, but we use products that, that, that can then be used again and again and again, even if their purposes change or what they're being used for changes. So all of the items that I'm going to discuss today are my very favorite handy items, things for organizing, things that have great aesthetic and appeal, things that look great on a shelf but also serve dual purposes, so they're being used to keep our lives together, keep things organized, but at the same time, we're not buying new products or new things in order to maintain this tidiness. So one of the things that I always kind of keep an eye out for at thrift stores and yard sales are tins. I absolutely love old tins like this. I use large ones like this for things like pens and pencils, scissors, things that I keep on our kitchen counter. I've got a box cutter in here. I've got this little measuring ruler that I use for sewing, some Sharpies, things that I don't really want my kids getting a hold of. So I love it because it has a lid and I can put it up on the shelf right above our kitchen counter. So it's easy to access, but it's not, it's still out of the way to where the kids aren't gonna get a hold of a Sharpie, hopefully, when I'm not paying attention. So I love old tins like this. You can find them at antique stores, at yard sales, thrift stores, anywhere like that. So that's kind of what I use the large ones for. And then I keep medium sized ones are great for hair clips. If you're a dude, maybe you can use it for like nuts and bolts. I don't know, I mean, whatever random little things that people use tiny containers for. These are also great when you go camping to use for like your spices or to make mini first aid kits, which I'm gonna show you another first aid thing. But if you're gonna go like backpacking or go on a hike and you're not gonna be gone too long, but you wanna stick maybe some Neosporin, some ointment, a few Band-Aids, um, maybe some eye drops or something. These little tins that you can find like this are great for that. This is a great size for sticking in a backpack or a suitcase. And then I also love little tiny ones. These are vintage rouge blush tins. And I use these for earrings when I travel. I just put a little cotton um, pad at the bottom so that my earrings won't kind of rattle around in there too much. But I love to put tiny items like um, earrings in these or rings and other jewelry if I'm traveling and then I stick them in my toiletry kit. They're also great for purses. And then this is another size that is perfect for bobby pins. So I keep one of these in my purse and I put bobby pins in it and also little ponytail holders for my daughter, her little hair ties that she likes, and you can also fit a uh, chapstick in here. And this is a great brand, this Badger brand. They make all kinds of stuff. They make this cuticle care, all kinds of salves, and they make sunscreen, bug balm, things like that. So it's great when you are purchasing new products to look for packaging that can be reused. And the tins I love, so I know a lot of Brands are doing glass packaging, which is great because it's reusable, but it's not really travel friendly. So the tins, I'm like, 
all about the tins right now. I'm getting totally away from the glass so much and really into the tins because they're so travel friendly. They can get banged around and they're not going to break or um, anything bad going to happen like that. So if you're looking for a new brand for sunscreen or lip balm or things like that, the Badger brand is great. And then this Smith's classic lip balm is like an old standby, but it does have mineral oil in it. So maybe not the greatest. And my next favorite thing to thrift for and buy secondhand are books. So we are big into books around here. And if you'd like me to do a full separate video just on books that we have thrifted or, or shop secondhand, I am more than happy to do that because we have quite a library of useful books. So we love books that you can learn from. So field guides, um, birds, we have one for bugs for when we go camping or even when we're just in the backyard. My son absolutely loves wildlife and he knows how to use field guides by color and things like that. So if you are into hiking, nature trails, anything like that, look secondhand first. If you're going to shop for a book, try to shop your thrift stores and then if you can, go to like used books online, Google it, look for secondhand thrift stores nearby that might have books that you can purchase and look specifically for the ones that you want. And other than field guides, I also love cookbooks. This is a depression era cookbook. This is full of great recipes for like garden harvest. So that's why I love it so much. And then you can find also at yard sales all the time. If you're into woodworking and you're not much of an internet person, like obviously you're a little bit into the internet because you're watching this video on YouTube, but we love these types of books because they have great little diagrams and step-by-step -step instructions so you can learn how to build your own projects using a book instead of the internet, which the internet is fine, but maybe there may come a time when we don't have the internet or there may come a time when you just don't wanna use the internet. This garden book, Better Homes and Gardens, highly recommend any Better Homes and Gardens books that you can find. Even the older editions are still gonna be incredibly relevant and useful um, for your garden plans. This was $1 and I think these are, these run pretty pricey if you buy them online, you buy them new or unused. They are pretty expensive. So the fact that I found this for a dollar was great. This is a 1960, uh, something edition, 1950, 1961 edition, and it's still fantastic. Tons of relevant information in there. And then also uh, more gardening books. So don't wanna spend too much time going through exactly what's in each of those books. Like I said, I'm more than happy to do a whole nother video on like all of our favorite secondhand books that are really easy to find. Like a lot of the books that I just showed you, I've seen out at thrift stores more than once. So they're out there. Um, very common books over the years. Jars and bottles. So I think if you are on a sustainability journey and you've kind of branched into this world of repurposing old things, you've probably already heard all the things that you can do with mason jars. So I'm not gonna talk about mason jars. That's like a gimme. But bottles like this, these are great for traveling as well as if you wanna make, like let's say you're going camping and you want to make a sauce for something or a dressing for something and stick it in the cooler. Reusing an old jar is great for that. And these are great for dress homemade dressings. You can just put vinegar, oil, and then maybe some, I don't know, whatever you want. Orange juice, some maple syrup for flavoring. If you wanna make it a little bit sweet, you could put um, any, whatever you want, whatever kind of dressing you like, just put them all in your bottle and shake it up and then keep this in the fridge and you'll have it for you know, six or seven uses, I don't know, depending on how big of a salad you make. So jars and bottles are a great thing to repurpose. Um, this was from a pizza sauce, I think. So that's another thing to keep in mind when you're shopping for products in the store, try to find products that come in a package that you are willing to repurpose rather than buying something that is just gonna get thrown away. Clothes, I cannot do a video on this without mentioning clothes. Clothes are great to buy secondhand. I have an entire Instagram dedicated to outfits that are secondhand purchased or repurposed 
clothing, clothes that I've made or clothing that I've bought and then altered myself or just straight off the rack secondhand clothes. I have an entire Instagram dedicated to this and I will go ahead and put a link down below if you're interested in that. If you want some inspiration, you can see that thrifted clothes are not shabby. They aren't horribly ugly. You can get really cute clothes secondhand, like crazy adorable stuff. Um, you will save money and you will save things from going to the landfill if you shop secondhand and you will not be contributing to the fast fashion world, which again, that is a topic for a whole nother video. So if you wanna hear more about fast fashion and how it's kind of not too great for our planet and some of the ways to sort of push back against that and give into a more old world style of doing things, let me know and I am more than happy to make a video about that as well. Another item that I absolutely love finding at the thrift store are like these little organizer bins. Uh, this was a tackle box. Actually, my husband picked this one up for me because he knows me so well. Uh, he was getting some fishing stuff at a yard sale and it was like a big bag of stuff and he knew that I would just love it. So this particular one, I'll just show you what I keep in here. I keep all of my like hairpins, little barrettes, a scrunchie, all the things that I need for setting my hair at night. So if I wanna sit down in front of a movie, I just grab this and I can pin curl my hair. And then also this is great for travel and I'll just take my earrings or my rings or whatever and stick them in here and then I can close the top and it's ready to go in my toiletry kit. So I absolutely love these, these are great. My son also loves these. He is four years old and I keep one of these in our tote bag when we go places. So if we're sitting at a restaurant or the doctor's office and we have to wait a long time, I will have one of these that has little tiny toys in it. So it can have just some little gadgets or like a fingerboard, silly putty, um, what else? What other little quiet toys? You know, some tiny little animals, uh, a couple of Hot Wheels. And so him having a little box, he calls it his gadget box. And when we go to sit somewhere and he's not really into coloring and things like that. So this is super handy to have on hand for that type of a thing because it just goes right into the tote bag and it's really easy to clean up and take with us when we need to leave. And then the other thing sort of along those same lines that I love to thrift are pencil boxes. These are crazy handy. So you know in the beginning I mentioned like a mini first aid kit. So this would be totally something where you could stick, like I said, some ointment, a couple of band-aids, maybe some gauze, like just some real quick emergency things could go in here for like a hike. But if you're going camping, you can use a pencil box is great for putting you know, a small container of hydrogen peroxide or some witch hazel, maybe some rubbing alcohol if you need to, some of those little alcohol wipes or some tweezers, a needle, maybe like a lighter or something so that if anyone gets splinters, you can sterilize a needle and use that to get slivers out. You could put some band-aids in it, all of that kind of stuff. These are great for like a travel first aid kit as well as toiletries. And what I use mine for, for camping, these are like our salt and pepper, a little mixed seasoning, and then some sponges for washing our dishes. And another little tip for your sponges, cut them in half because you know when you scrub cast iron or or like gunky stuff that's been cooked over a fire, how your sponge just gets like destroyed in one use. Just cut your sponges down so you're not wasting too many of them. Another item that is great for repurposing, like something that would typically just get thrown away or recycled, are these little soup cans. You can use them for starting seeds. So these are like little baby seedlings that I started out in the greenhouse. And when they get bigger, I'll be planting them out into the garden. So you can repurpose soup cans, just drill a couple of drainage holes in the bottom of them. And then you can start your seeds in there, wait for them to grow big, and then transplant your seedlings out into the garden. And the last couple of items that I'm gonna talk about are sort of directed towards anybody who has even beginner sewing skills. One thing that you can look for at the thrift store, like let's say you find a dress that is maybe a little bit too short or it just doesn't quite fit you right, but you just love it. Like I had found this dress and it was so cute, it had pockets, but the hemline was just too short for me. It just, it did not cover everything and I wasn't gonna wear that out in public, 
but I thought that the print was so cute and it had pockets in it and it was just so handy. So I just put a band across the top and now it's a little half apron. So I tie this around my waist and it's got handy little pockets in it and it's great for wearing around the house to protect my outfits because I like to wear cute outfits even when I'm cooking and gardening and so it's great to have aprons to wear to protect your clothes so that you're not staining them, ruining them and again, it's more sustainable to make your clothes last longer rather than treat them poorly and then have them wear out faster. So aprons are a great thing not only to have on hand to make your clothes last longer but a great way to repurpose old skirts and dresses and if you have a daughter who is into skirts and dresses but she maybe grows out of like a favorite dress like maybe like I have a two-year-old I could see one dress for sure that when she grows out of it and can't wear it anymore she'll probably be kind of bummed out but I could just make it into an apron for her and she would love that another great thing along those lines to repurpose are things like bed sheets tablecloths and curtains if you're at the thrift store, sometimes you will even find these things brand new, still in the package, as I did. I found a bed sheet. This was one like queen size bed sheet. It still had the original packaging, so it was like brand new, and I think it was $2 or something like that, and I made this adorable pajama set out of it. So I used thrifted buttons, I used an old pattern. So it's pajamas, pajama pants, and this top, and it also, there was enough fabric to also make a pair of shorts to go with it too. So this is kind of like all year round, I can wear this top with either pants or shorts, and it all came from one bed sheet that cost $2 at the thrift store, and I'm just amazed at the things that you can make out of things like that. So large pieces of fabric you can find, but also when it's just a bed sheet or a tablecloth or a curtain, it's pretty amazing what you can make out of those things. So those are just a few of my favorite items. If you like this type of video and you want more of this, definitely make sure to let me know. Leave a comment down below. Or if you want me to dive deeper into any of the topics that I've just mentioned, I'm more than happy to do that. So, um, but you have to let me know <laughs> that you want that kind of content. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.